Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to talk to you about something that I believe is extremely important. I'm going to be talking to you about the way that dogs are regarded and why I believe that it is wrong in so many ways and how fortunate we really are to have such beautiful creatures embedded into our lives. But to begin with, how many of you have access to a mobile phone, a tablet, a laptop, a newspaper, even a TV, anything that can connect you to, your, to the outside world? Show of hands, please. Wow, exactly. So I'm pretty sure that most of you have seen some pretty horrific stories about the way that dogs have been treated and either turned the page, swiped away, or worse, seen the story and done nothing. So what is the point of me standing in front of you and telling you the same thing that you chose to ignore? Well, I guess you can't swipe me away. I mean, you can try. But at the end of the day, you don't have to listen, and that would achieve nothing. So I'm going to try and present this to you in a slightly different way and hope that maybe, just maybe, it means something to you. And with no further ado, I speak to you from the point of one of my own dogs, Jamila. Hi, my name is Jamila. Three things you should know about me are I love to nap, I love my family with all of my heart, and I was found on the streets two, two years ago. Now, my favorite part of the day is when my family comes home because I get someone to play with. But sometimes my family brings home other people and I see them giving me these strange looks. They look at me like I don't belong. So why? I don't understand. Is it because I don't speak like everyone else? I am trying. I'm going to understand three new words. Sit, come, and bed. But you've got to understand, it's pretty hard for me. I mean, imagine if you got thrown somewhere, let's say with bears, for instance, and you had to try and pick up exactly what was being said to you. It would be very difficult. I mean, eventually you would realize that the word that was said most often in your direction was your name, and from there, maybe you could pinpoint some of the other words that were coming, but it is a long and painful process, so forgive me for being slow. So why else don't you think that I'm worthy of my family? Is it because I can't do that thing where water comes out of my eyes? Well, yes, I can't cry. But you know, I do have my own way of communicating emotions to you. I wag my tail when I'm happy, and I lower my ears, and I walk slightly slower when I'm sad. I've made an effort to try and understand you, but you have to try and help me. Try and understand me. Today I went to the dog park, but one of my friends wasn't there. I heard my family ask, where was he? And then I heard the dreaded words put down. To me, that means that I'm never going to see him again. He's not coming back. But the thing I don't understand is why. I've seen you hit him so many times, but you didn't disappear from it. You come back. Why don't I get to see my friends? He was found on the streets, and sometimes, like the best of us, he has a bad day. Maybe he lashed out. But I'm just never going to get to see him again. So anyway, the lights are off. I'm going to go to bed now. Thank you. So I hope that you guys enjoyed how I, or rather Jamila, spoke to you. And there are three very important things that I'd like to pinpoint. Why is it that dogs are treated as inferior? Why is it that dogs don't get a second chance? And why is the way that dogs are regarded so different from the way that we regard everyone else? These were the thoughts that were going through my head as I began to write this. Did you know that 670,000 dogs are put down every year in the United States alone? And what's the most common reason for that? Well, they bit someone. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that's completely wrong and you cannot put down anyone for that. But I'm just going to pose to you three very important questions. Firstly, if you've had a traumatic past, you've suffered tremendously in the earlier part of your life, and something triggers you, you lash out, you hit someone, should you be murdered for it? If you've had a terrible day and someone you trust is really scaring you, you don't know what to do, and yes, maybe you hit them, but do you deserve to die for it? And lastly, why is it that there are so many rehabilitation centers for humans, but not for dogs? I am very, very fortunate to have two dogs in my household and to have fostered over 27 dogs. It is my dogs that inspire me to write this speech because I realize that I've been given a voice, something that they don't have. And if I don't use that to help them, then really, what am I doing with it? 
because they have inspired me in so many ways, and I would not be the person I am today without them. If I've had a terrible day, I can always rely on them to be there for me, be it with a warm hug or to listen as I rant for hours on end. I know that they'll be there for me. So, you know, so what that they can't talk to me and tell me exactly how they feel about me? And so what that they can't smile and laugh like I do? Because you know what? Every minute of every day, they show me their pure, unadulterated love. And what more can I ask of them? The truth is, if we stop thinking about them as objects, there's so many things that dogs can treat us. From the fun but forbidden feeling of rolling in mud, to enjoying a meal or a good nap, anything really. But honestly, the most important thing, in my opinion, is to never give up. Dogs take every day, one day at a time. They make the most of every little thing, the sight of a loved one, a warm bowl of food. They just love everything around them. And I think that that's very important to remember. Now, there's a quote from Dear Evan Hansen that says, it just takes a little patience, it takes a little time, a little perseverance, and a little uphill climb. Well, I think that that's exactly what you need to put in to let a dog love you. But no words, no song lyrics, and no quotes can summarize exactly what a dog will give back. Thank you.